Hey guys, it's Ray here at oliverhomes.com and today I want to share with you a Montessori inspired unit for the human body. So in this first tray, we were learning about bones. Um, I found this x-ray online of bones in your hands, and there is an activity which I will link in the description box below um, under the free printables in our blog post that you can watch a full video on how to do this, but your child can just trace an outline of their hands and then mark out where their bones would be with glue. You put a paper towel over it and you then use a dropper to um, pull up some food coloring and then dr just drop that food coloring or maybe watercolor paint onto the paper towel. And then when you lift up the paper towel, it looks just like an x-ray. Now for the food coloring here, we just used green and red to make black, but you probably would want to add blue or if you actually have some like black watercolor paint that could work too. For our next tray, we just used some numbers. These, I forget where I found them and printed them out, but you could just write numbers on cards. Um, and then we had these Q-tips that kind of look like bones and used them to make tally marks. So that was kind of a new introduction to my son about another way to represent a number. In the third tray, we have this puzzle. It's actually a life-size puzzle of a child's skeleton. So um, these pieces, and I, as I mentioned before, I'm going to link all of this in our blog post and in the description box below, I will put a link to that blog post. So this is a free printable and you just put it together kind of like a puzzle and can talk about the different parts. Um, along with this, we actually traced my son's body and just kind of talked about where the head was and shoulders and where different bones could be. In the fourth tray, we have this booklet, which is called Inside My Amazing Body. This is such a great resource. Um, there's a lot that I've forgotten over the years about the human body and biology. So this was a very nice way to uh, break it down into something simple to talk to your toddler or preschooler about. Um, also, there are letters that you can trace for each word, and then you can color in the different organs and different systems of the body, like the circulatory system um, and your digestive system, things like that. And we just use these pencils that we got from IKEA. These are really nice to use. They're the Mala uh, colored pencils that can also be used as watercolors. And then in another tray, we have these Dua Dots. I always use different printouts from livingmontessorinow.com. They are such a great resource. I found these two, one for the heart and one for the brain. And then I just provided these uh, crazy dot stamps to stamp within the circles. Uh, you could also use IKEA stamps, but I, I can't seem to find those online anymore, so they may have been discontinued. And then provide a marker or a pencil to trace over the letters. In this last tray that we have here, it was more of a craft tray or craft activity where we used noodles. Uh, these are macaroni noodles. You could also use some pasta shells. And then uh, I think I have linguine here. So we looked at the skeleton and just talked about the different parts of the skeleton, which most of this is new to me. Um, and then we had another printout of this same skeleton and my son just glued the pasta noodles over on top of the bones um, in a creative way just to represent ribs and you know different parts of the skeleton.
The book that we used for this Montessori learning unit is called The Body. I think there might be a newer version of this, um, but the one that we borrowed from our library was uh, this one, and it is just such a fantastic resource. My son really loved these clear pages that show different parts of the human body and each layer almost like you're able to cut or slice through um, what a, you know what a body looks like and look behind it and in front of it is just such a clever book the way that it is put together i highly recommend uh, getting your own copy or if you do borrow it from the library um, you probably will end up borrowing it a couple of times Well, I hope that you found some inspiration in this Montessori inspired learning unit for the human body and that you found some activities for your toddler or preschooler. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We put out videos every Tuesday. Thanks for stopping by our home.